Yeah. But but I, I, I come from the San Fernando Valley, which is the capital of porn production. Right. So they knew that I had an in, you know, when it came I've to... I've been there. It's on the sign. They're very proud. <laughs> who, uh, who were the three girls massaging themselves? In, did you see that? No, I never see any okay. of that. Okay. Anybody see that on the monitor? We're, uh, we're... That uh, one? We're, uh, we're filming something else while we do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we are. Now, you are from the San Fernando Valley. You're a California fellow. That's yeah. right. Yeah, so you grew up around this whole uh, Hollywood situation. And nowhere near this kind of weather that's happening right now. Right. I'm just, so, <laughs> hey, that's why I'm like bundled up. That would explain the outlandishly warm outfit you have on right now. <laughs> don't wear that hood. People, it's a Unabomber thing. We don't like that. <laughs> uh, you've, uh, you've obviously uh, been in show business most of your life. And uh, do, you, do you come from a show business family? My dad was, um, I, you would recognize his voice, you know? He was a voiceover announcer, and he, uh, he was the guy that said, on the love boat, you know? You know? Oh, really? He would say, you know, next, on Perfect Strangers, Balky gets a headache, you know? This kind of thing. <laughs> you know? On, on sale at Vaughn's, you know? And I, I think he spoke that way to me, you know, like, go to bed. <laughs> so, so to say that your dad is envious of your success would be an understatement. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I suppose, okay. yeah. Right. <laughs> I've come up, you know. Are you still living? The family there? gets a little bit better. Right, okay. Now, uh, coincidence or not, you, you share the uh, name with the uh, porn director as well. We're back on porno. Yes. Um, yeah. I tend to segue quite a bit. Well, it's... It, so you're aware that I share a name with a porno director. Mm -hmm. That means that you are aware of that. Right. You watch porno? Do I watch porno? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I don't think uh, I don't think watch is the right word. <laughs> it's, it's, there's a very famous porn director and actor named Paul Thomas. Yeah, and my name is Paul Thomas Anderson. Right, but have people ever mistaken you for him based on the name only? Or, or what do you mean mistaken? Other? Well, have you have you tried to? So you're, uh, but. Well, have people, uh, people confused you with this fellow? I am him. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm kidding. I'm no. Sorry. Um, <laughs> you added Anderson no. for your mainstream work. That's exactly. I did the side mm. projects with Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. No. Good. Pure now, coincidence. Now, uh, something else that intrigued me today. I heard you quit NYU film school. I did, but I, I, I enrolled. I, I, I enrolled. I knew that I, I, I kind of had a feeling I wasn't going to go there. I just wanted to get to New York. Right. And I walked into class. And the first thing that this professor said was, you know, if there's anybody here that wants to write Terminator 2, there's the door. And I thought, well, okay, what if there's somebody that wants to write Terminator 2? And Terminator 2 is a fantastic movie. Mm -hmm. And it's already been written, I might add. <laughs> <laughs> so then, then this assignment was given to write sort of two pages, uh, uh, something specific. And what I did was I had a great David Mamet script that mm -hmm. was unproduced. Mm -hmm. David Mamet's a Pulitzer Prize winning playwright and, and, and uh, screenwriter. I took those two pages and handed them in as my own. I just put my name on it. Mm -hmm. And it came back with a C plus. Mm -hmm. And I figured that if a Pulitzer Prize winner is getting a C plus at NYU, I just really shouldn't stick around. And so I left. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. The thing, uh, we have a clip of the film. Right. We have a clip of the film, and uh, I have seen the film twice. Good. I enjoyed it Thank that you. much. I also it, don't it, have a lot of retention. It skills. really, it, to really understand the film, you need to see it three, four, five, or six mm -hmm. times. So if you could go back. Sure. <laughs> and never go on Tuesdays. <laughs> Tuesdays, $5 movie night. That's what I figured. All right. Good. I got it. I just, yeah. All right. Now, are you going to set up the clip, or do you, um, or do you just roll it? I Very don't, funny. I, don't, I know which clip it is. Well, see, I, I, wanted to, I, I, I always wanted to be a guest on a talk show and say, right. I don't know what You'll the clip get is. You know what I mean? Whenever <laughs> the guest comes out, they're like, I'm not sure what the clip is. I, I just love that, that <laughs> fake confusion that they always have. I know exactly what the clip is. I know. It's, so um, it's, um, <laughs> it's just like you knew, you knew what I was going to ask you. You know, you know what your answers were going to be. No, no. Uh, I know. It's just always, you know, you always, I you know, know, it's like on, you know, yeah. the, the uh, Tonight Show, you know, and, they, and it just always seems like, you know, Tom Hanks always pretends like, oh, the monitor's behind me, you know, like, and the thing pops up. Anyway, um, 
Uh, this, Man, I like you. <laughs> uh, this is a clip. Uh, John C. Riley plays a cop, and he's gone to investigate uh, disturbance at this woman's house, mm -hmm. and she's there to mm -hmm. sort of get rid of him. And... Great actor, by the way. Great, great actor. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at this. Every time I turn around, there's something else. Whoa, 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 I got a call of a disturbance. Your door was open, and I just want to see what's yes, going on. Yes, but there's no disturbance. Okay, well then you got nothing to worry about. You don't tell me. I know my rights. Just come right in. You can't okay. just... Oh. Uh, Ma'am, you want to test me? All right? You want to tell me about the law book? We can do that. You push me far enough, I will take you to jail. Okay? Now calm yourself down. I am calm. No, you are not calm. You're screaming at me. You understand? Now, I get a call of a disturbance, and I'm going to check it out. That is what I'm going to do. Now, are you alone in here? I ain't got to answer none of your questions. No, you don't. But I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you alone in here? What does it look like? There's no one else in here? You in here. I'll take it from here, Paul. I, I have a Spengali-like effect over the Canadian people. Go see this film. Yes, it's fantastic. And, uh, may I also say that the opening scenes alone are worth the price of admission. Great. I Thank thought it was you. fabulous. And uh, inspired casting. I thought Tom Cruise was uh, wonderful yeah. in the movie. He's wonderful. amazing. Oh. Amazing actor to work yeah. with, too. Should have won the Academy Award for Rain Man, in my opinion. But I, I agree. For this. I agree. You know, it's funny, because the actor that, you know, the, the easier role in Rain Man is Dustin Hoffman's yes, role. You right. think there's nothing to sort of uh, react to. Mm -hmm. Tom had the hard job there, and it was funny that it was overlooked. I'm so glad you said that, because downstairs, just prior to your arrival, you know, I didn't meet you before the show. Mm -hmm. you, you arrived a little late, and which I'm forgiving now. <laughs> but uh, downstairs in the makeup, room, I was talking to one of our singer producers, you know, who argued that with me and said, he'll never believe that. I said, well, that's what I believe. And apparently you and I are simpatico on this particular issue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Thomas Anderson, ladies and gentlemen, we'll return with Rachel Crawford after these messages.